Good morning, my friends. Welcome to another video. If you're new, my name is Nat Moran and I live on the road full time with my dogs, Agron and Pike. I just purchased this A-frame style camper about a month and a half ago, and we've been exploring some of the most beautiful parts of this country in my 2021 Toyota 4Runner, which I lived in for two and a half years. And I just celebrated my third year anniversary as a full timer. As you can see, I have this hideous blue tarp on my camper back here, and that's because my bubble window has decided to start leaking again. I resealed it before I hit the road again, and I thought that I had solved the problem, but it turns out it's still leaking in two spots, and my bed was completely soaked one day. Thank goodness for a waterproof topper. <laughs> so today the forecast was calling for rain, and it has been raining off and on for the last week here in Colorado. So the forecast just updated, and I'm happy to say that there's only a slight chance of rain this afternoon. So I think what I'm going to do is take the tarp off. I'm probably going to regret this decision, but with being in this spot on a hill like this, I am just completely hammered with the wind and I'm just terrified that this tarp is just going to blow off into Creed <laughs> and see you later. <laughs> but I am going to keep it handy because this afternoon there could be a potential chance of rain and I want to be able to put it back on the camper if need be. So I'm going to go ahead and take the tarp off and get the day started. So it's actually kind of cold up here on the mountaintop. I'm really thankful to be so exposed to the sun because the sun is definitely warming up the camper, which is another reason why I want to take the tarp off so that we can enjoy and have these beautiful views from inside and stay out of the wind if need be. So I'm just going to take the tarp off and and fingers crossed, I don't regret this decision because, well, it's kind of a pain to put this back up when you're so exposed to the wind. Because it's been so windy, I've had to get really creative with how to attach this tarp securely so that it doesn't like fly away because <laughs> I only have so many bungee cords and cables and, and all the stuff. So, I mean, last night it did get a little rainy and windy and I was a little nervous. The tarp actually started to like rip. I was afraid it was going to fly off at like 10 o'clock at night and it was pouring down rain. I actually ran out here <laughs> and put the dog's 30 foot leash back around. It's so, like I wrapped it around the top just as a safety. Like I didn't want it to end up in Creed because Creed is right there. So like the wind would probably blow it. <laughs> but anyways, I was able to capture that, but it was so cold last night when I did that in the rain. And uh, I was just really thankful to finally fall asleep and be able to relax a little bit because the tarp was nice and secure. So I'm gonna actually use the wind to help me get the tarp off the top because it's kind of stuck up there. Okay. I'm glad it's not windy right now, otherwise I wouldn't be able to do what I'm doing. It's a glorious morning. I see fresh deer prints. I assume it's deer because that's what was around here that yesterday when we rolled in. I've only seen deer. But there's fresh deer prints all over my camp that weren't here yesterday. So I think last night some deer were hanging around. But because I had the tarp, we couldn't really see out of the window. Holding tarp myself is not a fun task. There we go. I feel so much better now that I've taken the tarp off. I really hope that I don't regret that decision. But I'm only two miles from town and I literally can see it. So I'm actually thinking about driving into town today, but I don't know, I'm gonna make some breakfast and kind of assess. I was gonna go get breakfast in town. There's this really cute cafe that has some pretty awesome dishes that are reasonably priced that I was gonna go check out, but I think I'm just gonna make my breakfast and enjoy these views now that I took the tarp off and, and just enjoy this moment. This place is so spectacular. Like I know I've said that so many times. This is probably one of my number one favorite places so far in Colorado, at least top five. I know this place has to be super busy in the summertime because there's campsites everywhere, but literally I'm the only one here. So I have a few chores I need to get done. I want to organize the, the back of the Forerunner. I, I feel like I'm collecting a lot of things and I don't need them. So I'm probably going to put a batch together to donate and some trash because I just don't need as much stuff as I have. And a lot of it is decorative stuff that I thought I would use in the camper. But honestly, packing up camp and then re-putting everything together, it's just been a lot of work and I'm just not really interested 
interested and I'm realizing that I just don't need all this stuff. So I'm gonna be working on that later today as well. First, I'm gonna enjoy this beautiful morning. Here's the back of my Forerunner. You can see it's pretty packed full of stuff, including a random basket. I have some hoses over here. I've got my solar panels out. My garden's getting some much needed sun because it's kind of been cooped up inside because it's been really cold at night. And we've been traveling. I've got my, my freezer, my Starlink in here, my dead battery that I need to dispose of, a couple power banks, got my solar panels, which I'm probably going to go ahead and pull out and set up around camp. I haven't really needed to because I've been keeping my Jackery inside at 100 even using my power laptop just because of the sun exposure. We've been getting good solar but I might as well I'm gonna be here for a few days so and oh my gosh it's not raining the forecast is once again updated to no chance of rain for the next three days <sighs> that makes me happy <laughs> I do have a package coming in I do have a package or two being sent to a post office about two and a half hours away from here so I'm probably going to plan to be there on Monday and just kind of work my way that way I have a few extra days before I have to be somewhere I know I've kind of been like walking around the topic here of something that's going on this summer I will tell you guys and I will inform you guys I promise it's just the timing hasn't been right yet but I've got an opportunity this summer where I am going to be posted up in a really beautiful spot so I'm hoping that I'm going to have tons of off-roading content camping content and just nature and the beauty that surrounds the area that I'll be in content so it's going to be a good time but I'm going to go ahead and start organizing the inside I need to go through this black tub here and see if there's anything that I can get rid of or maybe pack more appropriately perhaps put up in a cargo box just take advantage of a not windy moment <laughs> I have noticed that for me this this lifestyle is full of unpacking, repacking, reorganizing, and finding more efficient ways to pack my things. I don't have a lot of stuff, as you can see, but it's amazing how quickly these things can turn into chaos. Everything I have is something that is a necessity for my lifestyle, and I have dialed in these items, so the few decorative items I have are just two picture frames, a candle, and a light. Everything else I need. just woke up to the sound of I have mouse I just saw its little head he's I think trying to get into my food I need my dogs to start working and they're just staying in here or sleeping here Pike you are my my hunter dog even though you have no teeth and there's a mouse right there scurrying in the pantry. Can you please get up and go get it? Can you go get it, please? Can you go get it? He's like, I can't be bothered, mother. It's 4 a.m. Please. Please. <gasps> go get the mouses. You won't get the mouse. You're too much of a... Actually, you killed a rat once. Oh, good stretch. Can somebody please go get the mouse over there? Look, my house is a train wreck because I've been trying to find it. <laughs> All right, he's been in the Doritos. Okay, I don't see anything in here, but it amazes me how like mice can fit in these little spots. All right, I think I may have got him intrigued, but then nothing happens. Come here, Pike. Come here, Pike. Sit right here. That way you're ready, okay? Because it's in here. I just, yeah, you good boy. You're my big good boy. So I just went through that. There's nothing in that one. So we're going to scout the rest of these because I hear them scurrying in there. I'm heading into town, and last night we had a new residence move in. Actually, I think this new resident has been living inside with us for a couple of days now. I got up, turned the light on, and there it is, right there. Hi, how you doing? And I'm like, okay, you're not welcome. I'm not one of those people that like, ah, you know, I don't, I, I'm, one of, I'm one of those people that's like, oh, oh, you ain't gonna live here for long. We'll see, we'll keep it posted. Anyway, so we're heading into town now, and I've got a package at the post office I need to go pick up. 
get some stuff for resupply because I threw away half of my food because I didn't know what was touched and what wasn't touched and this girl right here ain't playing around with any of that stuff. So we are on a mission today. I'm getting good at this general delivery thing. It's so easy once you figure it out. However, if the company doesn't send you a tracking, the tracking information, that's when it gets tricky. And that's what happened to me with a product I was gonna review. I asked them to send me the tracking information and they never did. And then they emailed me like a month later and was like, hey, have you tried the product? And I'm like, you guys never sent me the tracking number. I never knew when to go to the post office. So anyways, this is not the situation. And I'm really excited because this is coffee. coffee. Dolores, Colorado, and I just went into the hardware store because I saw that they had a UPS authorized shipping line or thing and I have an Amazon return. So I was like, oh, I wonder if they'll take an Amazon return. Well, I did. I had to redo a few things because you have to have the label printed. He printed me the label, gave me a box. He was so nice in here. And I have a humane mousetrap. I'm going to try first before I commit murder. Okay, this mouse is everywhere. I just took the covers off both I'm going to put them in some paper or some plastic bags. I just emptied down there, scrubbed it with Lysol, swept it, all the things. About to do it to this corner. Then we're just going to do every single corner of this camper. So I'll be moving the bed, going back underneath the bed, cleaning all that out because I heard pitter patter there last night. I'm getting everything out of here, putting everything in, like putting all of this in bags. That way, if it's infected, it's not getting next to me. That is all stuff that had mice evidence. So it's either gonna be torched or washed or something. All right, I've cleaned every surface and I haven't done in there. I need to clean in there still, but I've done everything else. I'm gonna put all my food in these little plastic containers. I need to organize my food. It's kind of windy. <laughs> Move the tarp up. So I'm about to wash all my dishes because I don't know where this mouse went but everything has been cleaned that I could think of. I've emptied everything. I've put everything in plastic bins that could. All mouse evidence is in my plastic bags on the hood. So I think I'm gonna be able to relax, <sighs> hopefully. Oh man, I have um, like all of my stuff right here. Uh, <laughs> right here <laughs> because I don't know if this mouse is gonna come back or not. So like, I just put all of my like stuff right here cause I didn't want it to be a cluster where the mouse usually has been residing. I just got out of bed. It's not even eight o'clock yet. I was that cold. I mean, it's not even that cold outside and it's still daylight out. Like you can still see, I mean, I think sunsets at like 8.15, but I'm gonna make some hot tea because I'm so cold and <laughs> I know that we have to do one more potty break before we go to bed and it's cold. <laughs> okay, so uh, Gus Gus decided it wanted to move into the camper and I'm not Cinderella, so Gus Gus is not welcome. No, if I open the door, the dogs are gonna go crazy. But I don't think I've ever disinfected my stuff so many times in a 12 hour period. So I'm disinfecting everything like all right, I don't want I don't want I don't want Gus Gus's cooties. Anyway, hot tea time. We're gonna do a potty break before it gets too dark. I'll show you guys around a little bit, but we're probably gonna be hunkered down for the next 24 hours because it's gonna be frigid cold. We're talking probably in the low twenties tomorrow night, so and the highs are in the 40s tomorrow and the rain and the snow is coming around 3 a.m. So I've got propane, I've got my heaters, I've got, I layered up, got my fuzzy socks on. My dogs drank their water and got water on my, my rug here. But yeah, good day today, even though Gus Gus showed up. <laughs> 